This afternoon's notable cast includes Giovanni Martinelli in the role of Otello, Elizabeth Resberg as Desdemona, Lawrence Tibbet as the villainous Iago, Nicholas Massu as Cassio, Giordano Paltronieri as the youthful Rodrigo, and George Chekhanovsky as Montano, whom the wine-crazed Cassio wounds after the drinking scene. Our conductor today is Ettore Panizza. In just a moment, the house lights will dim. The opera house will be in darkness for the opening storm-raging scene of Otello, a stage study in terms of black and white. There is no overture, as you know. The curtain rises quickly after a few vigorous measures. The wind whistles and howls, the thunder crashes, and between the flashes of lightning, we see Iago high upon the seawall ramparts, surrounded by the soldiers and citizens of Cyprus, some upon the rock seawall with him, some in back of this fortified key near the tavern. In alternate hope and terror, they sing as they look out upon the sea to catch glimpses of the storm-tossed vessel bearing the, their mighty Moorish general, Otello. He finally reaches shore, and standing on the pamphlets near the high staircase which leads to his castle, we soon hear a few glorious and dramatically well-chosen uh, phrases by Otello, Mr. Martinelli, beginning Esultate, in which he briefly tells of his victory over the Turks. And our tragedy is underway. The house lights have been dimmed. In fact, they are now out. Even the footlights, usually on, are out. The opera house is in complete darkness for this opening storm-raging scene of Otello. In just a moment, Mr. Panizza will be wending his way to the conductor's desk. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! 